Big Room Tang is taking over the EDM scene, but there are still not a lot of soundbanks with the sounds for it. So well, let me show you how to make those presets. There are a lot of different sounds that you can use, but it's so common to use an acid sound like this one. And to make it is so simple. The only thing you need to do is to go here, analog, and choose acid. And we have it. No, really, we have it. Yeah, okay, I know he's not that good. Let me show you how to improve it. What we're gonna do to improve it is first put it two octaves lower. Now we have a sound like this. Start sounding more acid. But now, if we change the wave table position, as you can see, the sound is completely different. You can just choose where you want it. For example, here. Or here. But to make it more interesting, a bit more professional, and just a bit better, what we're gonna do is to control this with an envelope. Let's go to the envelope 2, send it here, reduce the sustain, and now every time that we play one note, basically, it is gonna go up and down. This is a bit too aggressive, just put it where you want. I like to have it around 50. As you can see, we have the acid sound. To improve it a bit more, you can have the Molo Legato. I like to have it around here. Let's go to the effects. I'm going to add some distortion and distort quite a lot. But on this one, what I'm going to do is use a post filter on high pass filter and somewhere around this. So this way, basically, I'm boosting a bit more on the low end, but I'm doing a low cut and controlling a bit also the highs. Just sounds better. Without and with. Sounds way fatter. Finally, some reverb, and we're gonna use an EQ also using the envelope. Basically, what I want to do is to increase the highs, but not all the time like this. What I'm gonna do is send the same envelope here, only one side, and reduce it. Not that much, just a little bit like this. One last thing you can do is to use a macro, send it here, and this way, while you're playing, you can automate this. So it's where you have movement in your song. And finally, with a bit of processing and with some of the sounds, we have this. This is a simple way to make acid sounds, but there is another way that I'm going to show you now. And don't worry, if you don't like acid sounds, I'm also going to show you how to make more kind of big room synth. Another way to do an acid sound is using filters. First of all, I'm going to reduce here one octave and put some more voices. Enable oscillator B, minus two octaves, and keep it on one voice. Now the sound is like this. If you want, you can touch a little bit the blend, for example, to put this one more on the sides. Let's enable the filter. I'm gonna use maybe the 24. Increase a lot the resonance. Put the cutoff around 100, something like this. Increase the drive. And of course, enable on both filters. So now it's on like this. It just filtered, of course. We're gonna use the same technique. Let's go to envelope two, send it to the cutoff, reduce the sustain, maybe not that much. And now it's like this. This way we start to having this kind of acid sound, but of course this needs a lot of distortion. If we go to effects, I'm gonna use the same distortion as before, something like this, post, high pass, and put it around here. Some EQ, this one needs a lot more highs, but to add some movement, I'm also gonna add this one here a little bit, and just some reverb. Right now, I don't really like it. What I'm gonna do is reduce the level of this. We have the acid sound. Now let's say you want to have a more kind of super saw synth, like this one. But I want to let you know that these presets I'm making are included in my new Wicro Sandbank Volume 2. And wait, don't skip this part, I have this come for you. A serum Sandbank with 128 presets that fit any genre. If you make progressive house, it fits. If you make hardstyle, it fits. If you make big room techno, tech house, bass house, future house, deep house, any genre. It includes Atmos sounds, basses, chords, effects, leads, pads, plugs, screeches, stabs, and extra synths. Sounds that I've been using my release songs, but also my upcoming ones. And to be honest, right now is my go-to soundbar. And just for you, the one watching this video, you have during the next week a 15% discount with the code WILDCROW15. Don't miss this. To make a super saw, of course, what you need is a lot a lot of sauce, a lot of voices. I recommend you when you have a lot of voices to detune quite a lot because if you have a low detunement, it starts sounding a bit more phased. Here it sounds a bit better. Then we're gonna use another saw, a lot of voices also, and also increase the detunement. What you can do is change this wavetable so it's not the classic super saw. For example, I'm gonna go to analog and choose a saw around it, and I'm gonna put it around here. And for this one, I'm gonna go to digital and choose the HIPAA. Yeah, it is really similar sound, but you know, it's a bit different. This one, the saw rounded, as you can see here, the max, it has a lot more high frequencies. So what I'm gonna do to add more movement is use an envelope to here, or sustain, so this way it goes up every time. And it's like the tag has a bit more high frequencies. To make this sound more epic and full, I'm gonna use a noise sound. You can use whatever noise you want. In this case, I'm gonna use the bright white, but there's a problem here. If we listen only to the noise, 
as you can see it has lower frequencies and after this we're gonna distort the sound so those lower frequencies are gonna get really loud and really dirty so what i'm gonna do is activate the filter only in the noise i'm gonna change it for the high 14 put the cut of around 2000 and reduce the resonance as you can see we're cutting all of this but of course reduce the volume Let's go to the effects, we're gonna start with a distortion, again you can choose any type of distortion but this time I'm gonna use the sign shaper, this one as you can see adds a lot of noise but I don't want that much, let's put it around 30% and maybe as a pre to, the, to make sure the highs are not really saturated, have something like this. To make this sound fuller I'm gonna use the hyper and dimension but I'm gonna put it after the distortion. Let's start with the dimension right now, this creates like a kind of delay so I'm gonna reduce the size to the minimum. And it's like at the same moment, but of course not that much. We're also gonna use the hyper, max unison, increase the mix. As you can see it's kind of phased, but I'm gonna increase the tune and also the rate. Now it's a bit less phased and reduce the mix. Now compressor in multiple mode, I'm gonna reduce a little bit the ratio. And I like to touch this, I'm gonna put this around 111 and 130. Increase a bit the gain. Let's apply some delay and some reverb. I'm gonna put it on 1 8 and filter it a little bit. And I like to have the ping pong mode. On the reverb to have a different sound, I'm gonna use the plate with to the max. We can use a filter to make it sound a bit fatter and fuller. In this case, I'm gonna go to misc and I'm gonna use the comps. And to be honest, right now, sounds like this. If I put the cutoff to the max, right now it's basically not really filtering it. You can see here how this filter is. If I put it to the max, it's not really doing anything. But I don't know, if I put this and I increase the drive, it sounds fatter. Yeah. Last but not least, because the low end is a bit dirty, I'm gonna do a cutoff. And finally, if I put some OTT, some EQ, and a bit of processing, we have this. I hope you learned some sound design tricks, and don't miss the opportunity to get my new soundbank with a 50% discount only this week. See you!